All right, Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of the Great Millstone that rule well and taught us this truth. Salutations to the whole for the elect scattered abroad, preaching this word and this doctrine and truth with honesty and sincerity. Shalom, under Brother Chakam from the Great Millstone Miami camp, coming back once again through the Spirit to make this video, which I will title fight now laugh later or laugh now and fight later okay and um you know considering the times that we're coming into all right prophecy is that america is going to get hit with famine all right as well as other places around the world all right you know and um considering how america is how america functions all right the pleasures as as we know it where you know there's food services available 24 7 such as uber eats all right or pizza delivery and you got walmart's 20 some walmart's are 24 7 and drive throughs are available 24 7 okay that is all going to be stripped away all right the luxuries of the average american that the luxuries that the average american has are not going to last for much longer and there's going to be a time where America is going to get hit with famine okay where there's not going to be any food to eat there's not going to be any drinks or water to drink all right and um you know you got Bill Gates over here that's making bug food all right bug burgers okay where you know, Bill Gates, where he started off as, you know, a, a computer software um, creator, all right? And now he's become a doctor, or he's become a farmer. This man has basically become damn everything except what he originally started off with doing, all right? And that is the, you know, that's how this devil moves, all right? That is how Esau moves, okay? And really the ways to escape the incoming famine, all right, that's to come to America, all right, which is going to bring up cannibalism, all right, starvation. The only way to escape that is to have the Lord to protect you, all right? The Lord needs to stretch out his hand and give his elect mercy, which he will, all right? And really only the elect um, are going to get delivered out of that, all of those trials and tribulations, all right? The elect nation of Israel, okay? And as you can see here, I got an article from Bloomberg.com um titled farmers set to abandon u.s wheat crops at highest rate since 1917 prolonged drought has plagued fields across u.s plains hard red winter wheat futures advanced as much as 6.9 percent and this was posted may 12 2023 okay so you know bloomberg is a very renowned um they're a very renowned uh, organization in terms of, you know, articles that they push. And they're very reputable. So farmers are saying they're saying farmers are abandoning wheat crops. OK, which we know wheat. All right. Wheat is how you get bread and a lot of other uh, commodities that we see in the uh, in the grocery stores. OK, and this is just one article. All right, this I've seen a couple of other articles, which, you know, I'm just going to pull up just maybe one more here for the sake of time. But, you know, we see that America is, is, is America's time is running out. All right. The once the America that was once looked at as the golden city all right, has become crippled and is, is looked at as the third world country now. All right. The, the, the nation in which everybody wanted to come to. All right which is Babylon, all right, which, you know, we still got immigrants, so-called immigrants, you know, uh, that are trying to come to the, you know, this land, all right, it's really not the same how it used to be, all right, America is looked as, as, as a crippling nation, as a crippled nation 
to these other nations, especially the Russians, all right, and the Chinese. America is very vulnerable and weak right now, all right? But that's really the Lord that is crippling Babylon the Great. But um, I want to start off to get some scriptures here because the title of this lesson is Fight Now, Laugh Later, or Laugh Now and Fight Later because it's going to come to a point where Yo ass, if you don't repent and come back to the Lord, if you're a so-called black Latino or Native American man, and if you don't come back to the Lord, you're going to be caught up out there in the crosshairs of the Lord, and you're going to go through famine, all right? You will starve to death. You will come, into a cro you will come across uh, the temptation of cannibalism. You might fall into the hands of cannibalism, as a matter of fact, lest you repent and come back to the Lord. All right, because there's a lot of scoffers out there that scoff at the men of the Lord, the prophets. All right, they laugh at us. They, we look as as a spectacle. But this is all gonna come in our advantage when this time comes, and it is going to come. But I want to start off with the book of Second Ezra here. Second Ezra chapter six, verse twenty-two. Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 22 And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown And the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty Okay, and that's going into, you know, the markets, the grocery stores, okay How we're used to, see when we go to a, a, a grocery store We used to seeing a bunch of owls and different, uh, you know, commodities of food everywhere All right, the freezers being stocked with chicken and all sorts of different labels and different um you know types of food to eat but all that is going to be stripped away to the point where there's going to be nothing left but dust on those shelves okay people are going to be fighting for scraps of bread all right and it's gonna and it says suddenly shall it be found empty all right because if you look back on 2020 um, look how look how people reacted when it came to um, toilet paper. People bugged the hell out when they figured out, you know, you needed toilet paper. They didn't even think about it. They just they just heard it, and they reacted. They reacted um, instantaneously, and they started hoarding up all this toilet paper. And then suddenly, the toilet paper was completely vanished from all the from all the shelves on the grocery stores. The same thing is gonna happen. On a greater level in terms of not just toilet paper now, but food. Alright? Food. So the store... And this is what's going to happen to America. Alright? And America just really needs a cyber attack for this to happen. Because once the internet and, to, and um, you know, and electricity is no longer functioning in America, you know, this society, as you know it, is completely crippled and has come to a halt and everything comes to a pause. And people are going to be on... Um, they're going to be on um, survival mode. People are going to be bashing each other in the head for, you know, an egg. All right. A piece of bread. Okay. Scraps of meat, whatever it is. <clears throat> you know, and um, people might laugh at this, but this is true. These things will go, are are going to are going to happen. Second Ezra's uh, next precept here. Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse eighteen through nineteen. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. And for great tribulation. Alright, so neighbors are gonna be um breaking into each other's houses, shooting each other up because there's nothing to eat. Okay? And you know, this goes even for the most uh beautiful neighborhoods that you ever pass by, okay? Because when it comes to food, you're going to have no consideration of how long you knew that damn neighbor. Or if you guys went on fishing trips or if you guys have pictures on family albums together. When it comes to, a, uh, when it comes to famine, okay, there's no consideration. It's every man for himself. 
Okay, and, and, and there's going to be, you know, a lot of great death that's going to happen in, uh, in the streets of Babylon. Okay? Because of, the, because of the lack of bread. All right, and how you evade all this, really, you're going to need the Lord. Okay, there's going to be, um, you know, there's going to be, uh, all right, men's wives are going to be getting ravaged too as well. Children are going to be getting taken for food. Human beings are going to become food in America. Okay. America really runs on, on It's really hanging on a thread I want to get another article real quick here um, This is from DairyHerd.com Draw concerns grow as 57% of corn 51% of soybeans in the US Now considered to be in droughts Posted June 15th, 2023 Caption says 57% of the U.S. corn is now in drought, up from 45% last week. More than half of soybeans in the U.S. are also experiencing drought, an 11-point jump in just a week. And a lot of cows are fed with corn, all right? So once, you know, and that's a staple diet for a lot of uh, her cattle and herd, all right? They need corn. And once, you know, you have this staple diet that completely comes, uh, that is going to be completely be diminished, all right, get ready to to see meats be depleted out of the out of the stores first. All right, but really, you know, there's a balance to it all. Who's gonna be able to escape these families? Because there is a way out. All right, the Lord is not just gonna say these things and just um, not give us a way out. Okay, the Lord is a God of mercy. Six, Isaiah chapter 65 uh, verse 13 Therefore thus said the Lord Yahweh behold my servants shall eat But ye shall be hungry Behold my servants shall drink But ye shall be thirsty Behold my servants shall rejoice But ye shall be ashamed Okay so the Lord's servants all right, Which is which is the elect They're going to be A-OK -okay, all right. They're going to eat They're going to drink okay, In abundance They're going to rejoice Verse 14 Behold my servants shall sing for joy of heart Because why? The Lord came through. But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Right? Because people are going to be, um, you know, howling. People, <laughs> people are going to be crying out. All right? Because there's nothing to eat. There's nothing to drink. Okay? People are starving. And that's one of the worst ways to go. Starvation. Okay? Famine. Because your, your, your body is decomposing little by little to the point where you start hallucinating. Okay? I want to get the book of Proverbs here. <clears throat> Chapter 1, verse 26 through 28. Um, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 26 through 28. I also will laugh at your calamity. There it is, all right? <laughs> so the men of the Lord, <laughs> all right, the Lord is going to laugh at your calamity because when we was out in the highways and byways, you refused to hearken you refused to hear the word of the Lord, okay? And you did not repent. And the Lord and the Lord made you a marked man or a marked woman. And now you're going to be and now you are uh now you're caught in the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your feareth when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. All right. So when our hub breaks loose, okay. Hey, the men of the Lord, they're going to be blameless. Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai is going to be blameless. Salaki. But yeah, the Lord is going to be blameless. Okay. Because the Lord has sent out his men. All right. To preach the word. And give you a warning of the incoming destruction that's coming. Okay. So. There's not going to be anybody but to blame. There's not going to be anybody but uh, to blame but yourself. All right. And when your ass gets caught out there. All right. And, you know, your calamity 
at your calamity, the men are gonna, the, the men and the women of the Lord are gonna be fucking laughing at you, man. <laughs> All right. When your ass gets destroyed, the Lord is going to laugh. Okay, cause there was there's just no there wasn't no excuse for you. Are we in the time of grace? And Jake, what is Jake doing? Jake is taking it for granted. Okay. Um, I got one more here, cause going back to um to those that did not don't want to repent. Okay, I actually uh wanted to bring this out. Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 22 For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy And the dead shall be cast out as dung And there shall be no man to comfort them For earth, for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down Okay, so Those who dwell upon the earth and die of famine If you don't die by, by the famine Your ass is going to get destroyed by the sword Okay, there's a thousand ways to die in the book of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, all right? And when your ass gets put to death, all right, nobody's going to bury you, nobody's going to care, okay? You're just going to be another corpse in the streets of Babylon, all right? And, 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 and that's it, because the Lord has his men set out on the highways and byways, okay? Preaching his word, making videos, telling you to repent. So you can evade the dangers that's to come. All right. We are blowing the trumpet as we uh, right now as I speak. All right. And Lord willing, the Lord keeps me as well. Okay. Because we move through fear and reverence of Yahweh Bashi Me Abishai. All right. So when you start seeing a lot of, uh, you know, signs where there's not to be any food left. If you've been doing what you're supposed to do, A, you're going to be A-OK. -okay. You're going to be fine. The Lord got you. Okay. And that is the beauty of this ministry and, 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 and this truth, okay? We got to have faith, okay? The Lord, the Lord is looking for those that have faith, all right? And if, and if you've been enduring and you've been doing what you're supposed to do and you've been sincere with faith and, and, and in truth, the Lord is going to give you everything and more, all right, in the times that's to come. With that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakudash. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Until the next one, Shalom.